Hi, this is Anna Huthmaker again with Huthmaker Violins, and we're talking about commandment number three today in our Ten Commandments of Bow Care. Commandment number three is, Thou shalt not turn the eyelet with your screw. Now, most of you know, but if you don't, let me show you real quickly what an eyelet is. An eyelet is this little brass screw that's right in here, and it sticks into the mortise of your bow, and you use your silver screw to go in there and to tighten it. And what happens is when you tighten this, it pulls the frog back and the hair gets tighter. Then when you loosen it, it actually pushes the frog forward. Now, usually these work, we never notice them. You can play on a bow for a couple years and never even realize it's in there. But from time to time, this is brass and it will wear out. And what happens is all of a sudden your screw will push in and pull out without catching the threads. This is what we call a stripped eyelid. It happens, it's like getting a flat tire on your car. It's no big deal, easily repaired. However, one of the things you'll see a lot, and I used to have teachers that did this and taught me to do this, is if the eyelid is stripped out, they will try and turn the eyelid one half turn to maybe get a little bit more life out of it. The problem comes in that for some reason, somewhere along the line, somebody decided that it was okay to turn the eyelet with this screw. They would put the screw in and do like that. This can cause great, great damage to the underside of your bow. If you look closely, you will see all these little ridges in the silver, and that actually happened when someone turned the eyelet with their screw. Now, this is cosmetic damage. It doesn't help, it doesn't hurt how the bow plays or anything like that. However, it's very difficult to get rid of. And if you have a nice bow, um, not only would it be very expensive, but you might not ever be able to hide that damage. But regardless of how expensive your bow is, what we're talking about always is respecting the bow. The way you can respect your bow is to use the proper tool. So in this situation, what you would need is a little pair of pliers. If you want to try and turn it, you just need the appropriate tool so you're not doing any damage to the frog. Sometimes if your frog is wobbling on the stick, your eyelet may be a little loose, use the little pliers. Or use your fingers. You're not going to hurt anything with your fingers. Um, once the eyelet really is stripped out, though, that's when you got to bring it into your local violin shop and let your local bow queen, that would be me here, <laughs> let your local bow person fix it for you. That's not something usually you can do. There's a million different eyelets, a million different screws, and a million different mortises in the bow stick. So for now, just remember, never, ever, ever move this eyelet with your screw.